Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about the rotate brush. So let's go ahead and open up your blender and do a new file general. I do save as. We'll just call this rotate. And let's set up for sculpting. Just turn on your matte caps if you want to. And let's get some resolution. So we're going to throw on a multi-resolution on this monkey and subdivide a few times, maybe four or five times. And let's get to sculpting. So we're going to do control tab down and switch on into sculpting. Today we are doing the rotate brush and it is pretty self-explanatory. It is just going to let you rotate things. So let's click on the rotate brush. Notice we've got our normal radius, our normal strength set all the way to one and no plus or minus. And if we go into our tools, nothing fancy here, just hardness and auto smooth. So let's get to rotating. So say if you wanted to maybe rotate part of her ear here, you could scale up the rotation brush here. You know, maybe you want to angle that ever so slightly. And notice it's very strong. You know, it's really easy to get carried away with this. But say if you just wanted to barely rotate that, maybe rotate this a little bit. Maybe it's more needs to be up a little bit. And you could smooth that out. So that's what rotate's going to help you with. Uh, say if we went to three on the numpad here to go to the side, and we wanted to rotate this up a little bit, we could do that. So really, it's just if you need to nudge things in rotation. Also, you could go the extreme route and just click and drag on a surface and notice it's going to start really rotating and crunching into some crazy spirals. So maybe if you wanted to give one of your characters a little, you know, spiral on the top of the head. But really, it's for just rotating things. Like say if you wanted to do it really large, you could, you know, rotate part of her chin if you need it just to curve a little bit. So it really just depends on what you're trying to rotate. But really you can think of this rotation brush as rotating things, you know, with a very big or broad stroke or just getting in there really tiny and twisting some geometry. So you can kind of see it right there, a little swirly I made. So notice if you click and start spinning your mouse around in kind of a circular motion, it will start rotating in that direction or you can unwind it and go the opposite direction and wind things the other way. So it really just depends. And if you hold control, you know, nothing's really going to happen. But uh, the only thing I want to caution you about is if you really over crank this way too far, you can see it starts to kind of really break up the geometry. So you would either have to subdivide again or, you know, um, don't do that. <laughs> so you can kind of see what it's doing you know, underneath the model here, it's really just mushing up everything. So be careful with this brush, but uh, you know, if you need to do some little rotating pieces here, this is the brush for you to do that. So go ahead and rotate anything you want on Suzanne here. And once you are done with this brush, we'll move into the other brush, which is the slide and relax brush.